Yo, I uh, wanted to make a quick short video of how to do an LS swap fuel system. Most videos probably take about 30 minutes while they just talk and talk and talk. And I just want to show you real quick what you need, how it works. Super simple. I know it scares a lot of people just like the wiring harness probably does, but that's super simple too. Especially once you do it. So here we have an aftermarket fuel tank with an aftermarket in tank pump. So this is your pump or this is your sending unit pump, blah, blah, blah. This is your fuel level sender. So not worried about this. This is all you're going to care about at the moment. This is your Corvette fuel filter regulator. This is your PTFE line. You don't have to use this. This is A in line. Uh, super easy to use, super simple. You can use regular rubber hose, which I'm going to show you the fitting for. But this is this is all you do. So your fuel, your fuel pump's in there, or like in this, it's in the factory tank. I've said it a million times in my other videos that Holly makes retrofit fuel pumps for most old school cars. Uh, they go in the factory tank the same way the stock sending unit does, or yeah, the sending unit does. And then you just wire it up and plumb it just like this. But I have this one out. This one's going in the Vega. So it's easier to show you this. So this is your barb fitting. And you just put rubber hose right on that and clamp it down with the regular clamp. And you run it to the intake. Oh, that's what I forgot. That's what I meant to get. I'll show you right here. So this is a single feed LS1 intake. So there's no return on here. Uh, most of your early model trucks, Gen 3 truck engines, will have a return line. So you'll have, on the truck engines, the lines go like this. You'll have, uh, uh, I believe the top one is uh, sender, and the bottom one is return. So if you have that, if you got the one with the send and return, you can cap the return on there and just use the return on this so it basically tells you how to do it but gas tank is back there you're running your fuel line you're running your fuel line from the tank up here you're gonna have this filter regulator mounted somewhere on the frame and you're gonna have the fuel going in on top or however you mount it could be bottom or top but it also is the bigger the bigger one which is you can tell 3 8 5 16 so 3 8 is going to be your send the 5 16 is going to be your return so we're just going to say it's mounted like this so from the send on here run it to the send on here and then this side goes directly to the fuel rail. And then your return, which that even tells you return, in, send, return. And then this, the return, just run a line to the return. And then take your two wires, power, ground, done. That is literally it. That's all you get to do. I, on the CUDA right here, I'm using these barb fittings that I've showed a million times with just rubber line. I'm running it from the gas rubber line from the gasket, or from the gasket, the gas tank, all the way to the fuel rail on my intake. Uh, I've been running it like that for over a year. At some point, I'll switch to this PTF fitting because it's super easy to put together and obviously better than rubber. Uh, this is just an Amazon PTFE line. This is this line that's going in, in here. And this is what their fittings look like. But if you do go with the Holly Retrofit in-tank pump, those are internally regulated. So you don't need this. You just run your fuel line from the send on the pump all the way to the intake and if 
you don't use this and you don't have a return on here, you don't need a return. It's returnless. So, and the Holly retrofit pumps, they, uh, they're returnless pumps too. So it's not needed. So you basically just have one line going from there all the way to the intake. But if you're using this, because this isn't regulated, you've got to have it regulated at 58, 60 PSI. That's what this does for you. Make sure you run your return on when using these. Don't cap it. Uh, I learned the hard way that that messes up the, the whole fuel pressure for the uh, engine. So, but that's it. It's super simple. I just wanted to make a quick short video for you guys. Follow me, subscribe. Don't. Doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. I'll uh, see you guys when I post more about the Vega.